I'm Scott Al Miller. It is the 10th of December, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life, living in Leon, Nicaragua. We're here in downtown Sutiyava, and that is the Ipico getting ready to head out into the city of Leon. We're gonna head that way and try to bring you some of this event. We've done a number of these. They're a lot of fun. It's a very unique thing here in this region. We're gonna get to all that right after the bump. So today we're going to take you around a little bit of the Ipico here in Leon. This is the one that we just had actually on the 10th. So the date on this is matching. I have to do some voiceover because uh, there's really no way to record my voice at the event. Uh, it is so loud. There's just so much music going on, this cacophony of, of people playing in every direction. But these are so much fun. So I'm going to keep this short today. For those who find this enjoyable and you really want to see a lot of this parade or desfile, uh, I'm going to have this on my alternative channel, uh, which is just Scott Allen Miller. This is Scott Allen Miller vlog. Uh, for those who are interested, Scott Allen Miller sometimes has raw footage and other interesting tidbits that I record for this channel or other channels, and I just need a place to put them. It's a very old channel for me and not a thing I recommend you go out and subscribe to or anything, but if you'd like to. Uh, but if you, if you watch there, you can get a lot of material. Uh, that you may be missing here, just in case you want to fill some things in. As you get in every one of the big parades here in Nicaragua, the Tonya girls come out. Sometimes there's other floats with dancing girls, but this is a huge Nicaraguan tradition. Tonya is the national beer. It's actually uh, Cerveceria uh, Nacional, and it is uh, Victoria is their older beer. Tonya is their younger one, but Tonya has really taken the country by storm, it's all the same company, and it is the green bottle, so the girls are always in green. And for the Ipicos, like here in Leon, they just have this float that goes through the city, it's not a big thing, uh, but everyone, it's like the biggest thing, right? They're the only ones with a large float. Uh, but when they do the one in Managua, that one's so big that they actually have multiple floats with different outfit, like, setups and different songs. And then they have the Tonya girls all throughout the city at different bars and stuff. They don't do that in Leon. Leon is just too small. Uh, but in Managua, uh, you'll see that. And of course, the Ipico in, in Managua is just enormous compared to what we have in Leon. And we have more. The, the Ipico is like this constant cycle. And you actually get it multiple times in the same city throughout the year. So it's very strange. Uh, but it gives you a lot of opportunity to go out. And so it's less of the Ipico and more of just one of the Ipicos and the this constant circuit because the dancing horses are such an important part of Nicaraguan culture and society. It's something that they inherited from Spain and so people really like coming out to see these and um, it's kind of a unique thing. The parades are so big down here but the the horse parades specifically are the most popular as far as uh, they're, you know, they're not connected to a saint's day or anything like that. They don't have some huge, like, importance. It's just this is a time period where everyone's getting together to do a street party and they don't have to worry about a very specific thing other than, hey, let's have horses and, and play a lot of music as we do it. So these are, these are fun. They really are. If you're going to be in Nicaragua and you have a chance to go to one of the Ipicos, I recommend it because they, they're so different than I've seen anywhere else. It's very unique and very interesting. And of course there's bands coming through the street, there's DJs coming through the street. So you're just getting, it, it really is a wild amount of music. It is so loud and you can stand on the sides, you can march along. It's, uh, you're really free to do whatever it is that you want. And I do have to mention, I'm recording this, I have my terrible cough still. I'm, I'm quite sick with that. I think I'm getting a little bit better, but it has been, very, very bad. Uh, so I'm keeping these episodes short. I'm, uh, this was actually a big deal that I went out and recorded this Ipico for you guys actually out on site. One thing I don't like about the Ipicos, and you can already see it, they don't start until the sun is getting really low. So it's very hard to actually record these because only for the first like 30 minutes do we have good enough light. After that, they're basically parading in dusk. And so when you're standing there in person, it, it works out pretty much fine. But and, and they do that because it's cooler part of the day, but it makes filming extremely hard because you've got bright light above from the sun setting and then the parade itself is in relatively dim light. These really are just, it's such a fun event and you don't have to worry about anything, right? You just come out 
and uh, and hang out. But it is it is typically late in the evening. They start on the here in Leon. They start in Sutiava on the west side of the city, and they typically wind their way through downtown and the north up to the old baseball stadium, which at this time is still a current one, but only for a few more months. Our brand new stadium is going to be open very soon. I don't know if they'll be using that or not in the future. I don't think so because of where it is in the city. I don't think they want to march that far, but it's the old baseball stadium on the north side of town. They head up there and I don't know what event they had today. Like I said, I'm sick, so did not go out uh, late, just to, did the filming and went back home. But in the past, they've actually had a, a rodeo connected with the, the Ipico and in other cities they do other things and at other times they do other things, but there's generally some big event connected with it. But what's really interesting, I think, is that there are so many people, so many, I mean, there's a ton of people who have horse ranches around the country and they come out and they, they like represent as a team from their horse ranch. So it's so cool to see this thing and they ride the circuit and they just show off their ranches and their horses and they're dancing and they're, they get all dressed up and there's all these costumes, but there's nothing, there's nothing formal. I don't believe there's any competition. I don't think you win anything. It's just these ranches do this. And, and I don't believe there's any monetary benefit to this. I have no idea what it would be if there is. Uh, it really is just uh, people do it to have a lot of fun so they, there's this huge effort from the ranches uh, to put this all together and sometimes they're out there in trucks sometimes they've got crews riding along with the horses sometimes they have big party buses going through i didn't see any of those in this particular ipico when we were in nagarote they had a ton of those so there's just all these different things and people get so into like the fashion of the ipico there's this whole world of very western wear uh, that you only get in conjunction with the Ipico. I'm out here at the Iglesia Sutiava, where we filmed just the other day. This is where I was with Eric from Generic Expats when we did the interview. Here you can see the church behind me, but today is the Hippico, and there's now it explains why there's a giant carnival out of here. This is the staging ground for the Ipico as it goes through the city. So we're gonna give you a bit of a view here, and we're gonna take you all through the city so you can see what's going on with this giant parade. We have so much fun at these, they're a blast, and uh, mostly it's just a lot of people marching through the streets with horses. It's, it's pretty cool, but this is the Plaza Sutiava, and it is absolutely packed like a village carnival, and then they start to line up the horses and other uh, parade people around here, and then they head through uh, Sutiava and into the city from here. So this is kind of the starting ground. So a lot of people gather here, but people gather all through the city and all day long to be able to see this event. And we're going to keep this really short because we're going to put all the footage on the other channel. So if you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott L. Miller. It's there on the screen. If you want to contact us, we'll throw the email up there in just a minute. Info at relocatenicaragua.com. As always, like, subscribe, tell your friends, family about the show. If you know anyone who's interested, let them know. Post on social media, put that link on Facebook or LinkedIn or Reddit or anywhere you can think of. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Tomorrow.